Hello, so let's clear out a few things. If you are going to fight this boss, you'll need the Soul Spark Cinder. If you have the Seeker Keys in your inventory, you'll get one in the beginning. That means you'll fight the other boss. So if you have the Prison, that means you'll fight this boss. You'll need the Soul Spark Cinder. The Soul Spark Cinder will always be on the second part of the map. On the second part of the map, you'll always have from what I saw, you'll have, of course, the dungeon, transit dungeon, which might be the Puyutri domain or the hatchery. And then you'll have the terminal station all the time, from what I saw. Maybe Vault of the Formless as well. I'm not sure if that is not, is always or not. And that's super spite. And then you'll also have a portion of the map which is not marked. It's actually pretty easy to see because in that corner you'll have an elevator. It looks like a bunker, it's pretty noticeable, so you have to go down the bunker and that's where you get it. If it's not this boss and it's the other boss, then you just have an elevator more or less the same and you'll find the override pin. So this is the boss item required for you to kill this boss, which will be over here in the Forgotten Prison. Now, as another uh, kind of spoiler thingy, close your ears if you don't want to hear, the boss has two drops and also two ways to fight it. One, if you let the boss eat you, you'll fight his uh, metaphysical shape which will give you a melee weapon if you fight him normally and he doesn't let you you don't let him eat you you fight him normally and after that we also have another two choices he'll drop an item and you have to take that item to the first map to the custodian and he will either craft you a heart or you can take it lower to the vendor to the juzir a replicator and you can get another item i'm not sure which is which but don't worry you'll see that on the video just know that you have two possible rewards for the boss and also to have two possible rewards after you finish the boss well it might not be so easy for me because i am a little bit under leveled right now but i'm sure we'll manage i mean i mean how bad can it be right I might need to swap my classes a little bit, but we will see. We will see. So let me see. I guess I can do it like this, so I have the loaded. But that's not so important. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one is your prime perk. Actually, I wanted to select the ultimate over here, Bullet Storm. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> don't forget to enter it, because if you press the button and don't enter it, you'll have to wait again until it's open. So yeah, my specialty will be the Nerud planet, because I didn't have enough time to do two planets. Probably the next planet will be Lossom, but when is that? that's so hard to do anyway, because it's a lot more complicated than so the you have found them. The Ember sees all. Yes, bring them to me at once. Now, if you're wondering what this Soul Spark Cylinder is, it's basically a lot of little eggs for the Druzir. So, hundreds of eggs, twitching and rolling in the thick fluid, some Drizzir survived. So I guess it's the entire Drizzir race and their salvation. Why is it never a human-sized enemy? Lifetimes have I waited. Now, I can rest knowing that everything left of my people is preserved for eternity. And I really feel I have created an ark to preserve what is left of the Drazir. Though all of Nerud will cease, my ark will endure, and these sparks will join the consciousness of the countless others within. <laughs> Disgusting. Our fate is inevitable, 
The custodian will return the root to Alepsis Tora. It will not emerge a second time. All that remains is yourself. Tell me, do you believe in free will? <laughs> Perhaps. Not so the Prazir. I once believed in free will. The Ambit Ember has since shown me the fate of all things. For the Drazir, free will was an illusion. All of our achievements pointed us here, to Alepsis Tora. Our every action since was inevitable. Yet I did not foresee you. Or perhaps I chose not to. I would invite you to the Ark, small one. You will be a welcome addition to eternity. Yes, I want to be part of eternity, but what does that mean? Immortality. Becoming part of something greater. Will you join us? Oh, it doesn't really say. What if I that say no? your choice. You must believe your will is your own. Thus do the living endure their finite existence. So, what say you? By the way, he doesn't speak through a mouth, which is greatly annoying. I think he, 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 that means just he will, let, he will eat you. Don't let him eat you because you'll get a melee weapon and it's also going to be a weirder fight. So, no, thank you. Let's fight the big creature. The only life the Drazir have found in eons. All that is left in this universe. To continue without would be a great loss. So, we will not do so. Your will is not greater than that of the universe, nor my own. You will join us, small one. No matter the fall. What for mashed potatoes? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, most of the most of your deaths will be caused by the boss just having too much of a white swing, so you need to avoid the swings. You see, I don't like some of the choices, like activating the turret, changing to a secondary.
was not so bad. Quick and yeah. easy on this difficulty. I guess I just have to launch DPS. So as you can see, we got two stuff, two things, two materials. Yeah, I guess the fight is not so bad once you understand that you have to keep away from him at any cost. Yeah, you learn his attacks as well. I think this fight is easier if you do it like this. So let's see the spiced bile. Disgusting. You'll regret if you leave it behind, you'll regret it. it speaks to in thoughts, I shall. Only unpleasant. Oh, I guess you can go back to the Forgotten Prison. Interesting. I mean, you cannot go there, but it's part of the same dungeon. So, uh, I guess the story behind this is be feeding himself some mutagenic bile or I don't know. This, the lore would be so cool if the developers just insist more on it. They should just make you... I don't know. Insist more on it because it's so cool. But your actions don't actually affect anything because you're just killing everything that moves. Amazing, right? Uh, I think it's the Ascension Spire. We need to go to the Custodian. So if you do it like this, you'll get an extra reward. I think if you do, so if you kill the other boss, Shahala, you have to kill him the normal way. So that means you have to fight his ghost, and then you have to go to the. A studian and then he'll give you a reward. Otherwise, if you fight his true form, you don't get the reward, but you get the long gun. Anyway, it's a bit complex and complicated. Uh, I guess I have no problems with this particular mechanic. Okay, show off. So over here, you have the possibility to craft. Oh yeah, here it is. The Void Idol, which as you can see increases load speed by 20% and reloading only requires 15% of magazine capacity from reserves to fully reload. It's very weirdly worded, but I guess that means you require less ammo for reloading. Which is kind of great, but as you can see it requires hardened iron and I don't have any at this point of the game, so I guess I, keep, I can keep the reward for later. But I think I'll just get the heart, to be honest. Go to the elevator, go up. I'm pretty sure the elevator can crush us. Yeah, I wish I had the hardened iron, but I think it's okay as it is. Yes. Your task was a success. You have performed a greater service. I and Aldrazir are in your debt. Please, take this for your troubles. May it serve you well. Now, if you do not mind, I must begin my work. Siphon Heart. So the Siphon Heart is basically lifesteal. You, only, you don't get any healing when you activate it, but... When you use it, you get life still. I'm not sure what would be the point of it because you just be healing for 10 seconds and. Eh, I don't know. I guess this is a very niche item, like all of the other hearts. It's a cool concept having different relic hearts, but they're for niche builds that you probably will never use, to be honest. And even if you want to use them, you will need to force your archetype and your guns and your other stuff to use them, so it's going to be a meh option. Well, let's go back and craft the item. Like I said, if you choose to fight him in the metaphysical world, meaning you accept to be part of his arc and get eaten, you'll get a melee weapon. The melee weapons in this game are kind of cool, but at the same time, they'll not really help you the first time playing the game. Melee builds will be only viable after you finish the game once or twice or even three times. So let's go and get the other reward. To be honest, I don't like making short videos because I would, be, I would have made probably 100 videos until this point if I was making only short videos. 
So let's just do this one with all complete knowledge. I hope I have enough resources to craft the boss weapon. Oh no, I think it's a skill. You. All right then. No, no, it's a skill. It's not a weapon. Or is it a weapon? Oh, it's a weapon. It's a handgun, the Nebula. Hmm. Oh, it's actually pretty good. So, as you can see, it doesn't stagger at all. Minus 15% stagger modifier means it never will stagger. It's about 86 damage, no, 96 damage per second, which is not bad. 100 is not bad. So, it fires acid that applies the corroded effect. Okay, so it applies corroded. Damage over time. A gas cloud. Oh, seconds. And we have the nano swarm. Also, this is like the swarm module. It also deal acid damage per hit and it will last 15 seconds. So again, once again, 6 acid damage per hit. So even at the worst, that would be 90 damage or but it's going to be more than that because I think it's 6 damage per hit and if you have 10, so I don't know. Let's inspect it. Okay, there goes all of my money again. I mean, so far I've been using the other, which is more or less the same thing. The MP60 with the space crabs. Uh, inspect, let's, let's remove the mutator. So if you compare the damage, it's worse magazine. Yeah, the damage of the basic MP60 machine gun is very, very good. Also, I would like to point another thing at this point of the game. Look at how stupid the system is because you're not going to get any weapons that are upgraded. So I'm just crafting stuff. But if you craft them, they're not leveled up. So in Remnant 1, when you get a weapon, usually at some point they will be leveled up, like plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. So even though my combat power is 10, I'm still getting weapons that are level 1. It will be a nightmare to upgrade all of this nonsense. So let's touch the crystal. I mean, it's probably going to be very fun to use this setup. Yeah. Okay, this will be my setup. Passive damage all the way. So, you know how when you put down the turret, you summon the... you switch to the secondary? Oh, it's... Why? Pain floor minigun. The gun itself doesn't do a lot of damage because it's kind of slow firing and I guess the range is super limited. Uh, sure, let's see that again, just the swarm. Let's see how much damage the swarm does only and then we'll look again at the Enigma. The Enigma is supposed to be the best handgun in the game. And I forget to craft it and I don't have enough resources now. Eh, well. Wait, it fires it automatically? Okay, you press F and it fires it automatically. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad. The total EPS is quite good. Well, if you have the turret, if you have the... Yeah, if you just have everything working for you, it's not bad. But it's only 8 meters, and think about that, 8 meters is basically nothing in this game. You are, most of your fights will be at 20 meters or something like that. Even the SMG has 17 meters, so I guess that's the problem. You cannot really use it to kill stuff, you mostly use it for the mod power. Also, another problem is you only have one. One. I guess it burns a little bit after, you only have one charge to it. See, it doesn't go over 100 DPS. This will be a big problem. Okay, let me show you how much damage I can deal with this gun. 120 DPS, right?
that's a lot more DPS. So I guess this has its own uses, but it's pretty slow to... Yeah, I guess sometimes it will go to 200 DPS, depends on how many enemies you are fighting, but I guess if you are only fighting an enemy or a horde of enemies, it's super cool. It also has the face of the boss. I wish I could look. Anyway, we're proper Neruded up, look at this. We are, <laughs> we are a beast. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, let me look at the... Sorry, this is kind of an extra thing. Let's look at the Enigma handgun. Because I want to compare this at some point, but I cannot just craft the weapons the entire gameplay. I need to upgrade some of the weapons and buy some other stuff as well. This better. All right, let's... So the cube gun is not so good. The Enigma is very good chaos driver. So as you can see, every gun almost... Oh, minus 10% critical hit chance. I didn't notice that. So some guns have minus critical hit chance. The damage is more or less the same 100, but the electrified rod... Better to other roads within 10 meters. 10 seconds, 20 damage per second. Oh yeah, it's a lot better, I mean... How should I put it? It's a lot more versatile, especially because it will do more damage on its own, while the... Yeah, I can understand. I'm a busy woman. Yeah, have a vacation. A sun tap. <laughs> okay. Actually, sorry about this. I need to check out one more thing, one last thing. How do the sw how does the swarm look like when you're I don't know running around? Again, yeah, just for consistency's sake. So they follow you around. Yeah, I guess they follow you around at the same speed, but they'll go to an enemy as soon as they see it. Oh, that's kind of bad because they might attract all of the enemies in a room or all of the enemies that are not even activated. Yeah, okay, see you next time. Bye.